I've been asked a few times to dissect the ingredients of the Dermal 500 lotion. So here goes. This video is going to be a little bit different because I can't find anywhere online the ingredients list in order of the concentration of each ingredient. And as you know, if you've seen my videos before, the first ingredient always has the most percentage in that whole product, going down to the least. But we're not sure in this case. So let me just tell you, in my opinion, why these ingredients are in there, how they're made, and if I like them or not. So the active ingredients in here. At 0.1%, benzyl clonium chloride. This is an ammonium compound and used as a disinfectant and a preservative. It can be very irritating to your skin, but at 0.1%, I'm sure it's not gonna have any impact. Much like the next active ingredient at 0.1% is the dihydrochloride. This is a broad spectrum antimicrobial agent. So it will help prevent bacterial growth in this whole formulation because as you can see later, there is some purified water. But also I think it's in here to kill off any bacteria on your skin too. However, there has been a study to say that it could be a potential endocrine disruptor. So it can cause havoc with your hormones. Personally, I'd stay away from this one, but at 0.1%, I'm not sure if it's going to make much of a difference. Now we're on to the emollients. Liquid paraffin at 2.5%. Now you know how much I hate paraffin, especially in skincare. It's derived from petroleum. It's non-biodegradable. It's non-renewable. It tricks your skin into thinking it's getting moisture. When in fact, in my opinion, it's not getting any nutrition whatsoever. And all it's doing is trapping in bacteria. And another emollient is this isopropyl. It's a synthetic ester, which is used as a skin softener. It's highly comedogenic, so it's gonna block your pores. And it also acts as a solvent to help the other ingredients absorb into your skin better. And this is also flammable. Not classed as an endocrine disruptor though. And now we have some emulsifiers that are gonna bind the water to the oils and stabilize the product. Now this particular alcohol is considered safe, but the environmental impact depends on the sourcing and the production of this, the production methods of the fatty acids used to produce it, which I'm not sure on this one, but it's generally safe for your skin. And now we are on to a peg. You know how much I hate pegs. Seto Macrogal 1000 is a peg. A polyethylene glyco. They can be extremely irritating and contain microplastics, which can bioaccumulate in your organs and cause all sorts of damage. Pegs are not needed in any skincare at any time for any reason, other than it's a really cheap emulsifier. And then another preservative in this is phenooxyethanol. Very common preservative. You're only allowed to use up to 1% in all formulations according to the EU regs as it can be extremely irritating. So I'm not quite sure why it's in this cream. I wouldn't personally use it myself. Um, sometimes it can be derived from green tea, so it can be natural. I'm assuming this one isn't natural. But anyway, just so you know, just because something is natural doesn't mean it's not gonna irritate you. And obviously everyone's skin is different. This is just my opinion on the ingredients. And lastly, we've got purified water, hence why we needed those horrible emulsifiers and the preservatives. In my opinion, there are plenty of other natural alternatives to Dermal 500, but I don't blame anyone that does use this as it is commonly prescribed and I ain't no doctor, I'm just here to dissect the ingredients in your skincare. So if there are any other skincare products you'd like me to dissect, then just let me know.